Back in October of last year at Google's annual hardware event, we not surprisingly spent all of our time oogling and ogling over the Pixelbook Go. But while we were looking at it and testing it and doing everything we needed to do in that space, there was a pair of accessories kind of hiding out over in the corner that were these two things right here, this new keyboard from Logitech and this new mouse from Logitech. So we wanna take a look at this K580 keyboard and this M355 mouse. That's probably the last time I'm gonna say those things and let you know how well they work actually with Chromebooks. Today's video is brought to you by NordVPN. They're the VPN of choice for millions of consumers, including those that use Chromebooks because they're awesome at what they do, keeping your browsing secure and safe when you're out and about or if you're at home too. If you'd like to learn more about them, head over to chromeunbox.com forward slash NordVPN and you can learn more and get started today. I've been using this keyboard and mouse combo now for about a week. And right at the top here, I can tell you they're probably my favorite pair of accessories for a Chromebook I've used to date. Now, is it the best keyboard in the world as far as like key travel and all that kind of stuff? No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it there. I still prefer if I'm gonna type on anything, the Pixelbook Go's keyboard itself. If I could just take it out and make it this, it would be perfect. But aside from that, like it, it has a good key travel. It feels good to use and the, the mechanisms are quiet and all that kind of stuff. It's a good keyboard. It's just not the best one I've used. But everything else about this pair, it's just awesome for people that use Chromebooks. So let's dive into specifics here and we'll start with the little mouse here. And there is not another Logitech mouse that looks like this. So you don't even have to remember that model name. Again, it's the M355. It's almost impossible to remember Logitech's model numbers. I mean, they stuck with their thing. K's are keyboards and M's are mice. But other than that, you're just good luck remembering what number goes with which keyboard. But Conveniently, they always put it right on the bottom of the device, but you're not gonna find another mouse that looks like this. So if you see this one, it is the one that works well with Chromebooks. And I'll say this right at the top for both of these devices, and we won't rehash this when we talk about the keyboard. The Bluetooth in these things is phenomenally good. Better than any other mouse keyboard accessory I've ever used with a Chromebook, hands down. It's not even a close comparison. And that's talking about stuff like Bridges, G-Type and C-Type that were made specifically for Chromebooks. Those things always drop pairing and had all kinds of issues. And I don't, I don't know what Logitech has done here, but clearly when they stamped made for Google on the back of these things, they took care of the Bluetooth issue somehow. I don't know, Chromebooks didn't get it fixed and we're not expecting a real fix to happen until Bluetooth 5 and all this new wave of Chromebooks come out. But whatever Logitech's done here, now these, these work with both the dongle and Bluetooth, but I've, I've only used them in Bluetooth mode because it's been so rock solid. Every time I go to wake the screen up, every time I, I need to get and start using the keyboard and use the mouse, it works every single time. A full week of work with this thing and not one time has the Bluetooth ever dropped out, ever lagged or ever acted wonky or silly the way it does with most Chromebook accessories. Aside from that, the, the mouse doesn't do anything special really. Again, it goes from both modes. You can use it with a Logitech dongle or in Bluetooth. Again, Bluetooth is so good, I would just stick with Bluetooth, honestly. It's got a nice quiet scroll wheel. And one of the cool things it does is the, the buttons on it are really, really quiet. And we're kind of seeing a trend towards that where you know, if you're in the office and everybody's got a clicky mouse, you know exactly the sound if you're around a bunch of people and just constant, everybody's clicking and it just, it's nonstop every day, all day. Well, this kind of puts a stop to that. I'll, I'll put this up here and you can hear how quiet these are. I mean, very, very quiet. They don't make a lot of noise at all. And yet there's still a nice reassuring click to them. So I do like that function. It also is magnetic on the top. So when you take this off to change the battery or to get to that dongle there, there's nothing really else going on. It's just magnetic and it drops right on. No, no things to pry open or anything like that. So that's another nice touch. The scroll wheel is super smooth. And honestly, it's weird to say, but it's the best like scroll wheel click I've ever felt. Again, it's quiet too, but it's very reassuring. And I usually end up double clicking the scroll wheel when I go to use it. And there's a couple things you can do in Chrome OS with it. Uh, no issues here with that. So overall, it's a very utilitarian, functional mouse, but the big win here is it's super comfortable to use. It's nice and small, it fits in a bag, and its Bluetooth connection is absolutely rock solid. In a similar fashion, the keyboard 
doesn't really stand out in any specific way. It is thinner than most keyboards. And if, you know, if I hold it up here, you can just see it's like razor thin here and it's raised across the back where the batteries and all that kind of stuff are there. It's got a tray here too. So you could, you know, drop a phone or a very small tablet in that if that's what you're into. But I've just used it to like put pens or whatever in, but in general, it's just kind of a nice spot to be able to carry it. It fits well in your bag. It's not heavy at all. And you know, the top pops off pretty easily for you to replace the batteries and that kind of stuff. Other than that, it doesn't do anything different than other keyboards do. It's a keyboard with a numeric keypad. The key travel is good and it's relatively quiet. Not the quietest thing I've heard in the world, but it is pretty quiet for a keyboard. You feel the travel pretty well. The click mechanism is good. And so I'm not having a lot of errors when I'm typing on it. It isn't backlit, but again, it does have all the Chrome OS specific keys. So you never have to guess and poke around and wonder which function key to use to get that overview mode or to change your brightness or volume. The keys are laid out here well. They work the way they're supposed to. There's a lock button on here. So when you're walking away from your terminal, you hit that button and it locks your screen. It's just a nice overall presentation. And it's nice to have something that works this well on Bluetooth work so well with the operating system the way it's meant to. Finally, it's worth noting that this device also has a dedicated assistant key on it. So a lot of Chromebooks still are coming out and they don't have that key on there for whatever reason. And you can hit search A on most Chromebooks and pull the assistant up with a shortcut, but it is nice to have that assistant key there as I've gotten more and more used to the idea of using the assistant on my Chromebook. It's nice to have an external keyboard that has that button. I can hit one click and have that assistant up there and get those things I need from it. As for the price, the keyboard goes for $49.99 and the mouse is $29.99. So super reasonable for great accessories for your Chromebook. I personally went out and purchased this set of them and I'm gonna be keeping them. Logitech was nice enough to send these over, but prior to them showing up, we weren't sure when they would get here. I was curious and felt like these were gonna be a good fit for me and I'm glad I went and bought them because I'm gonna be keeping them. And I think if you go out and buy them as well, if you need an external keyboard and mouse for your Chromebook or Chromebox or whatever, you're gonna be very, very satisfied with your purchase. Before we get out of here, I don't want to fail to mention our on the run to 100K giveaway. We are approaching 95,000 subscribers and eventually we'll be hitting 100,000. And at both of those landmarks, we are gonna be giving away some pretty cool stuff. So the first one at 95,000, Pixel 4, and all kinds of accessories. And at 100,000, an Asus Chromebook Flip C434. So if you haven't already, make sure and go hit the link in the description to get yourself entered. Share it with everybody you know so that they can get entered. The more subscribers we get, the closer we get to that number, we'll finally get to the point where we can give these things away. We cannot wait to be able to announce those winners. But that's it for this one, guys. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Go down there and hit that subscribe button and make sure and hit the notification bell right next to that if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one. And also don't forget to hit that join button as well to see all the perks like custom emojis and behind the scenes footage all of our members get. Until next time, we'll see you.